Hello. In this video, we are going to be making a horizontal bar chart where the values are stacked up, they're piled on top of each other, and they will be diverging um, from a point in the middle. So it's a horizontal stacked bar diverging chart, diverging stacked bar, whatever you want to call it. And um, it'll look something like the picture on the bottom. So the, what we have to decide, and we have results from a five-point Likert scale-based survey, and we have to decide what to do about the neutral values. Do we want to put them on the positive side, or do we want to put them on the, the unfavorable side, I guess, favorable and unfavorable? Um, if we put it on the favorable side, it makes the favorable side look better. If we put it on the unfavorable side, it makes the unfavorable side look more significant. So it depends on what story are you trying to tell here? Are you trying to show that service is good or are you trying to show that it's bad? I have highlighted the, the neutral color-wise to match with the positive side because I'm going to put it on the positive side. So let's highlight our uh, values and our row and column labels. And then we'll say insert a line, a, a bar graph and I believe at the end of the day, we could do it fine either with the stacked bar or the 100% stacked bar, but using a 100% stacked bar just seems a little more intuitive for what we're doing here. So I'll say 100% stacked bar chart. And now if we look at this, it doesn't make any sense because we're talking about the places where, let's say strongly disagree, um, that has the biggest section here under answered quickly. So I guess, Answered quickly is the one that strongly disagree votes, but that's really not probably the way we want to look at the data. So I'm going to um, just click on our chart here and I'm going to switch the rows and the columns. So now we see that for a helpful, not many strongly disagrees, but a lot of agrees and some strongly agrees. This is the way we want to present our data. So that's good. Um, we should... Um, give our chart a title. So let's give it a title. And now let's make it a true stacked, a diverging stacked bar chart. So what we need to do is we're going to add a buffer onto both the favorable and the unfavorable sides so that the favorable and the unfavorable sides both add up to 100%. So I'm going to say equals one minus and then sum of these two cells. Oops, what did I do here? The one minus sum, and then in parentheses, uh, these two cells. So that's a, add up to 45 because these two together are 55. So the left side adds up to 100 now. So I'll copy that down. We'll do the same thing on the favorable side. So equals one minus sum, and then highlight those three, write parentheses, copy it down. So that's all set. And now we want to um, add these buffers as entries into our graph. So by clicking on the graph, I see what has been included in the graph. And I want to click on these little corner selection tools so that the buffer is added on that side and on this side. And now I'm just going to focus on the graph and not look at the numbers so much. So uh, we don't want, um, we see the buffers are colored in now. And so they're they're doing the job they need to do, but um, we don't want to see them. So I'm going to click on this buffer data and I'm going to say, let's change the fill color to no fill. And we'll change the outline color to no outline. And so now we can't even see it. It's it's invisible, but it's still doing its job as far as pushing the other entries over where they go. I can go down here and I want to delete the word buffer from our legend. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other buffer, set it as no fill and set it as no outline and delete this word buffer. So now we've got the graph showing what we want. We've got this dividing line right here between the disagree unhappy customers versus the positive or indifferent uh, neutral customers over on the right hand side. Um, so now 
that's that's the real trick of the thing. And now we're going to do just a little bit of cleaning up aesthetics kinds of things, uh, you could say mostly. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this dead space here between zero and whatever number that is. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to format the axis. And we can see that the minimum is zero. And let's change that to 0.2 to 20%. And then on the right-hand side here, it's going to 100%. Let's see what happens if we change it to 0.95, 95%. And I just think that's a nicer graph to look at because the content is filling more of the visual field. Um, so we can get rid of that dialog box. And now the axis has served its purpose. This having 20 through 90%, that's not, that's just confusing. Um, it doesn't make any sense. So I just clicked on that and deleted it. But now we have no idea what the numbers are. So we need to click on each series and say add labels. And there are options about what you could do with them. But uh, for how I'm making this, just the default option is going to work out just fine. And so we've added all our data labels. And um, now the next thing I would do, though, with these data labels is I would say that 5% is hard to read because it's a little too big. It doesn't fit inside the box that it's trying to fit inside. So I'm going to drag it out there so that um, we can read it. Uh, kind of an aesthetics thing. Like, do those vertical lines make any sense? And I kind of think they don't. Um, so I'm going to leave those alone. Um, the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the bars taller visually so um, i can go to format data series and um, we have two options here under the series options we've got the series overlap and the gap width now if we decrease the gap width you'll see what happens i'm just going to go 20 percent and now they're much taller maybe you don't want them quite that tall fine make your own graph um the series overlap just to show you what that does, if we reduce this, make it smaller, now you can see that each one, the, the subsequent stacked items are offset a bit. And so if we go all the way down to zero, they're just on top of each other. Um, and I think that's an ugly graph. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think it's really, I don't, I, I mean, it kind of looks like a Gantt chart from project management, if you know those. Um, but I'm going back to 100%. Yeah, maybe that gap width is a little, but it's, I like that better. And I think that's it. I think we're done. So I hope this was helpful.